everyone, today's devotional comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. Let's look at it. It starts, And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belong the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms, and he blessed them, laying his hands on them. All right, so just a few things to point out. First thing we see in verse 13, people, unnamed people, are bringing their children to Jesus. To see Jesus, to, we don't know why, they're bringing them to Jesus. And what did the disciples do? They rebuked them. Why would they rebuke these people? Well, uh, children were not viewed as valuable as we view them. They were pretty much an inconvenience at best until they were grown up to the point where they could be married off to get a bride price to provide some income and some loyalty ties through marriage. Uh, or they were old enough to take up the family trade. If you're a son, become a you know, blacksmith or a farmer. So children are not viewed as valuable or as in high esteem as we might view them in this culture. They're very invaluable. They're not as valuable. Why waste Jesus' time? That's why the disciples might have rebuked them. But when Jesus sees this happening, what happens? Well, we look at verse 14. Jesus saw it. He was indignant. Indignant. What does that word, that fancy word, mean? Well, uh, it comes from a Greek word here that means something like um, spark, sparked anger. And the idea here is that Jesus was very outwardly angry towards his disciples. He was not bottling it up and being passive aggressive. You know, he was very outward in his anger towards them uh, for keeping the children away. And so what does Jesus do? What does, he, Jesus, what does Jesus say? He says, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them. Don't get in the way. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. And he says, truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And that's really the, 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 the phrase that we tend to focus on with this passage. You have to enter the kingdom of God like a child. What does that mean? And for a lot of people, that means you got to be blameless and cute and, and innocent like a child. Innocent like a child. I'll tell you what, uh, if quarantine has taught you anything, it's that children are not innocent and blameless. That, that doesn't match up with our theology of sin, of, of human beings, and it doesn't match up with anything about humans that we understand at all. We know we are messy, broken people, so that can't be how we enter the kingdom of God, like an innocent, blameless child. It has to mean something else, and in fact, it does. Think of it like this. What do children bring to the table? Nothing. In fact, we know what they we know they bring nothing, and we know they lack everything. They lack importance. They lack prestige. They come with their arms wide open, needing everything. And that's exactly how we are to receive the kingdom of God. That's how we receive the gospel, as little children offering nothing and needing everything. That's how we enter the kingdom of God, like a little child. That's what Jesus is saying. You have to come knowing you offer nothing. You need everything. And so that means two points of application for us uh, this morning. First, we can't restrict the kingdom of God to who we think is qualified to receive it. We can't restrict. In fact, the kingdom of God we see is exclusively for the unqualified, for the sinner, for the broken. We are not to restrict and restrain who hears the gospel. That's exactly what the disciples are doing. That receives the indignation of Jesus. And the second thing is we come to the kingdom of God with nothing to offer the Lord except our sin and our messiness and our brokenness. We come depending on his grace and his mercy to hold us in his arms, to give us blessing and promise. We come as little children who bring nothing to the table. If that doesn't reflect who you are. I don't know what does. That I'm nothing and Jesus is everything and I need him to give me everything and to hold me and let me know he's got me. And so if you're struggling this morning thinking, why, I, I can't be a child of God, I can't be a Christian, I don't bring anything to the table, that's exactly the point. That's exactly how Jesus wants you to come to him and receive his grace and his mercy. 
Till next time, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.